So, Teresa, I want to say thank you so much for joining me in this usability test. And I'm going to ask you to test uh, a site um, that was developed using um, the software called Course Sites. And I'm going to just kind of ask you to go through the pages. And we're going to do a think out loud technique. OK? okay. So the first thing I'd like you to do is just grab an object on your desk, a common object on your desk. And we're going to practice the think out loud technique. Okay, I'm going to ask you to look at that stapler and think out loud as you look at it and go ahead and just whatever comes to mind, just say it and hold it up a little higher so we can see you look. Okay, up. okay. go ahead. This connects things. And it and it helps me to keep organized. But sometimes I get frustrated with it because it's a cheap stapler and it gets and it gets um, clogged. Okay. Um, what else about that stapler? Just anything that comes to mind. What about it? Just it's brown. Okay. It's kind of boring. Good. It, it it's not very exciting, but it has a it has a pretty good function. Good. And um, it was cheap. Came from the dollar store. Keep going. Um, it's lightweight, and I keep it right above my desk so I can grab it easily. Okay. And it's easy to reload the cartridges. The, the staples in here um, and they're pretty cheap to, to buy. So I think as for an office supply, this is a, a pretty good thing. Great. Perfect. Okay. So that's what we're going to have you do as you go through the course. Thank you so much. Okay. And so we're just going to ask you to just whatever just comes to mind, you're going to speak out loud. Okay. Okay. Great. So I'm going to ask you to, go through a, a couple of the links and we're going to start with, um, hold on one second, let me get there. All right. So I'm gonna ask you to first look at the, the um, instruct, let's see, let's see what we have here. Okay, so go first to the course description. Okay. And just kind of go look at the page and talk out loud as you look at it. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, course description. Well, first I see a welcome video. That's kind of nice. And I am, uh, but I don't want to, I don't want to open it right yet because I want to look at other things on the page. So scrolling down the page, here's some content. Um, I am interested in reading this course presents an overview. Well, so this is a terminology too. So this gives me some information. Here's the learning objectives. This is kind of what I'm interested in. Uh, describe the equipment, mold types, and soap bases needed to get started making their own soaps. Using the melt and pour technique. Formulate a unique blend of essential oils to create the mood of their choice. Identify mixed blend colorants to use in soap and design and craft a unique soap. So when I look at the learning objectives, when I'm looking at these now, this makes me want to come back up to the top of the page and look at the course description a little bit more and then maybe go into the course welcome. Okay. So I kind of like to look at the learning objectives first to see what the course is all about and what I'm going to be able to do and then uh, okay. go back and look at the uh, description. Okay. You don't need to talk to me. Just go ahead and just do whatever you want. Oh, on. okay. Just all right. Say it out loud, but don't be talk communicating, just stream of consciousness as well. Okay. okay. All right. So the learning objectives. So I, I like the learning objectives. Okay. So let me go back up here. Uh, course presents an overview of the melt and pour techniques. It introduces terminology, tools, and skills needed to successfully create a beautiful handcrafted two color, two layered soap. Ooh, I like that. Areas addressed in this course include what you need to get started equipment, mold, soap bases, colorants, scents, additives. Additionally, this course includes a step-by-step hands-on video demonstration of the creation of a two-layer soap. The course will give you all the information that you need about oils, butters, fragrances, and colors so that you can add ingredients to your soaps to improve enriching and moisturizing qualities to them. The course will be beneficial for anyone who wants to learn to make melt and pour soap, learn about essential oils, start making soap as a hobby or business, or make healthy Thanksgiving 
Ooh, this looks great. Okay, so I'm interested in this. Let me go back. All right, so learning objectives, I see that. Okay, this is good. This is good. So now let's see what we got here. Uh, welcome to SOAP 101. Let me check this out. YouTube. Okay, 21 seconds. Oh, I like this that it's short. Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome to Soap Making 101. This is a melt and pour soap creation I course. Talking. Oh, okay. We'll cover everything that you need to know in this course. To okay. Craft your very own soap. Well, this is good. I like this that I started. Can... My name is Christina, and I will be your instructor. Okay, great. All right. So, I see that. Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome. Why don't you turn down the volume as you watch it, and and say out loud? Okay, there you go. Okay, so. Well, so this uh, this is this is great because it's short and it's sweet and then it's just a, basically an introduction. Um, I like it. It seems like she knows what she's doing. Um, I don't know what happened here. It went to the next. I think it went to the next YouTube, whatever that was. Oh well, I don't know. It was just a YouTube th thing that it does. If you if you click refresh. Yeah, refresh it. Here we go. Okay, so 21 seconds for me. This is good. I'm kind of interested now in going to the next step. Okay, let's do that. Let's go to module one. Okay. Wow, look at this. Okay, module one, the basics. So I'm going to look at this page for, I want to look at the whole page first, see what's going on. Okay, so... Description, learning objectives. Pictures are big enough for me to see. I like that. Pre-assessment survey, lesson one equipment. Okay, so let me look here. Mo okay, so this module will introduce you to the basics of what you need to get started with your melt and pour soap project. It will list and explain the needed equipment, where to require them. The module will also explore the many different types of soap base options for your projects. Following this module, you'll be able to list the required equipment to get started and compare and contrast Learning it, students will be able to list the required types of equipment needed, okay, and compare the benefits, different soap base, okay. I wonder what these pictures are. I wonder how these pictures fit into it. That's my question. Looks like you got a melt, looks like crock pots here and some molds here, maybe cutting items. Okay. I'm gonna look at the serve. Can I just keep going? No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop you there. Thank you so much. Okay. And now we're going to begin um, the next part of this usability test where you go deeply into a lesson. And what I mean by deeply is you're going to explore every link and every um, activity and every video, but you don't need to um, go in depth. In other words, you don't need to learn it. You don't need to listen to the entire video. I just want to get your impressions of it, okay? Mm -hmm. So you're gonna start with the lesson one equipment, don't click it yet, and then scroll down. And go to lesson two soap base. So you're gonna go thoroughly through each of these two lessons. And again, don't you don't have to listen to the whole video, you don't have to, you can skim it if you want to, whatever you wanna do. Uh, you don't have to learn it, okay? Got it. Go ahead and start. Okay, so lesson one equipment. Let's see what we got here. Lesson one equipment video. Click on YouTube. Okay, so I want to see what, okay, there's equipment. Oh, and then there's a quiz. Okay. Hmm. So let's look at equipment. Equipment. Ooh, six minutes. Ouch. All right. Go so ahead and turn the volume up. Basic equipment here. Go ahead and turn the volume up, Teresa. We're going to go ahead and cover the soap base. So a soap base is uh, what you need to melt down and then add things to to make it your very own soap. Uh, they come in these rather large boxes. Um, this is a 10 pound uh, box of soap base. Okay. And this particular one is um, this is a white soap. Okay. So soaps come in uh, white and clear. They also come in goat's milk, 
olive oil, hemp. There are tons of options. We'll okay. go over that in more detail uh, later. Uh, so this is a 10 pound box. They also come in much smaller two pound trays. Um, if you want to just get started with a smaller amount, but I, um, I make my soaps and sell them. So I buy it in a larger quantity to save some money. The next thing you're going to need is a uh, heating element. So I prefer to use a crock pot, a slow cooker. Um, it allows me to melt down the soap and then kind of take my time with adding things and um, creating the soap. You can also use a large glass bowl or even a measuring cup. And uh, you're going to cut the cut the soap base up and put it in your glass container, and then you would put it in the microwave for mm -hmm. 30 okay. seconds. So I'm going to ask you to stop there for 30 seconds. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. So what can you speak out loud? Kind of some thoughts that you have as you're watching the video. Uh, yeah. First off, uh, she seems to be very knowledgeable, and I learned uh, what 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 catches my attention is that if you're going to do this if I'm going to do this as a business I'm going to have to buy a large amount of soap base um, if I'm just doing it as a hobby uh, probably not because because like she said she does it as a business so she buys large quantities to save money um, but I I'm, what I'm also looking at is what's behind her and, and the other items that uh, in the picture because it looks like she has a lot of oils and, and, and maybe different scents that she has used before um, that she can uh, recycle or reuse or repurpose into new soap. So I'm thinking, hmm, I may need to get a, have a designated space in my house if I want to do this. Okay, great. What I'm thinking. Anything else about the video? Uh, I, the, the video is, to me, it's kind of high. The camera seems kind of high. I'm looking down at her. Uh, I, I kind of would prefer it to be a little bit lower so that I was looking directly at, at the person. Um, but it certainly doesn't detract from the, um, uh, from comprehending what she's saying. Okay. So I'm okay with that. Okay. But I see there's a lot of things down there, like there's another pan and then there's some molds and stuff, so... I mean, to me, that what this set, what this tells me is that there's there's going to be equipment, and a lot of it might just be household stuff that I have at home that mm -hmm. I can use. Mm -hmm. um, but definitely for the essential oils and the and the nice little things that seem to be in the window over there, that might have to be something that I would purchase. It looks like she's also got a lot of boxes back there on the shelf, so I bet that's uh, soap making base mm -hmm. um, that she's using. So okay. okay, very good. All right, continue on. Okay. To the, not the video, but the next, uh, go ahead and just go to the next item. Okay, so the quiz? Uh-huh. Okay. And think out loud as you go to the page. Okay, let's, let me think. All right, so equipment instructions. Please complete the short quiz by answering all questions. Force completion. Once started, this test must be completed. When sitting, do not leave the test before the save and submit. Do not leave the test. Okay. Click begin to start. Okay. Click cancel. Okay, got it. Okay, begin. So I'm going to begin here. You completed the test on June 24th. Oh. Oh. Yeah. It, uh, let's see. Click on. Um, Back to course. Yeah, go back to course for a second. This is because I logged in and I was testing it. Let's see if it lets me go back down to that again, Teresa. Okay. Click a click the quiz again. Okay. And click begin. See if it lets you. Click on view all attempts. Okay, darn it. Okay, let's go out to, um, let's click on module two, Teresa. Okay. Oh, wow, this is great. You can okay. scroll, scroll like down it. for me. Just scroll down for a second. 
I want to see what she's got here. Okay. Okay, I'm going to ask you, okay, go back up for a second. Okay, we're going to start the usability test over, okay? And we're going to do it with module two. And I'm going to ask you to briefly go through um, the, the, this description and then the two lessons on this page. And uh, so you're just coming to this page and just kind of speak out loud as you go through this page and the two lessons, okay? okay. Go ahead. All right, so module two, sense and color. So description and learning objectives. All right, so this seems pretty straightforward. Module will introduce, introduce you to both colorants and scent options for your melt and pour soap project. It will explain the difference between essential and fragrance and describe proper oil usage rates. The module will also explore the different types of soap colorants and how to mix and add them to your soap base. Learning objectives, here we go. Students will categorize, categorize essential and fragrance oils by mood properties and effects. Students will formulate their unique blend of scents to create the mood of their choice. Students will assess the two types of colorants using MP soap making and students will propose their unique color blend for their final soap. Okay, great. So I'm si excited about this. So now I'm gonna just click on this. It looks like they got a lot of stuff here. Click on this one, less than one cents. Okay, so let me see how to do this. Oh, wow, I like that. Okay. So, what? Uh, this scent selection blog. Okay, speak out loud as you go. But I'm gonna, first I'm gonna look at the video. Click on the video. Let's see how this works. Okay, so the next thing I would like to cover is um, your scent your fragrances, your essential oils. There are two types, an essential oil, which is natural and comes from um, things that actually grow out in the wild. Oh, I didn't know that. So two examples of this are uh, my lavender okay. essential oil and bergamot. Um, I have a large, uh, well, large enough uh, supply of different types of oils, but these are a couple of my go-to essential oils. And then there are fragrance oils, which are synthetic, they're chemical, um, but they are skin safe if you buy them from soap suppliers. And, uh, but they are chemical. So uh, this one is, that one's actually an essential oil, a cucumber melon. This one is definitely a fragrance oil. It says right on it, fragrance oil, and it is chocolate and amber, and oh, it smells fabulous. Um, Again, lots of choices on that. I have. Uh, so what I'm thinking out loud, what I'm wondering here mm -hmm. is, as, as I listen to her, mm -hmm. is I'm wondering if I can use my my favorite perfume to create a soap out of that. Okay, good. Because I I like the SB. <clears throat> the Estee Lauder knowing fragrance, mm -hmm. and you can't get that in a soap. You can get it in, I can buy I'm pat, in a bath oil. And so I'm wondering as I watch this, if I can use that, I mean, I'd love it. Um, uh -huh, great. What else are you, what else are you thinking uh, as, you watch, as you look at it? How much money I have to put into this kind of a project to, mm -hmm. uh, actually get started or to, uh, you know, make money out of it. Great. And what other kinds of things I'm thinking that like, if I'm going to make some soap, like if I was able to use the knowing, could I put like little gold flakes in the soap or, you know, what kind of wrapping I would use or, you know, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Great. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Let's move on to the next item. Okay. The quiz. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, please don't be the, okay. Begin lesson one quiz. All right, so I'm gonna begin this here. Let's see. Multiple attempts not allowed. Okay, question completion status. All right, what are the two types of scent oils? Oh, so my question, 
So now as I look at this, I'm assuming I just type in the answer in the box. Okay. Um, explain the difference between the two. Fragrance is chemical while essential is natural. Moving to another question of status response. Okay, two points. Save, answer. All right, so now I'm gonna go to the next question here. Moving to another question, okay. Uh, you can find scent oils at a candle supply shop. True or false? Scent oils. Uh, I think true. Oh, save answer. Kind of wish this was down below here. So instead of, because I got to go all the way over here and I would maybe normally just come over to here. So I'm thinking, hmm, if I don't click this, can I do this? A one point saved. Okay. All right. Okay, what is the highest safe temperature to avoid reading the flashpoint? Ooh, I don't know, because I didn't listen to that. I'm gonna say 105 degrees. Okay, save the answer. And how much scent oil do you use for one pound of soap? Ooh, how much scent oil? 15, 30, 20. 30 mil, these are milliliters, so hmm, I don't know what that would be in ounces. So I think maybe one pound, and then we got milliliters. Okay, so that's 250 grams. So uh, I'm gonna say 30. I'm gonna say 30. Okay, now click, click Submit to complete this assessment. Let's see where Submit. Uh, save and Submit, okay. Test submission, click, click cancel to okay. Click okay, all right. Okay, great, all right, so let's see what I said. Click okay to view results. Where's the okay button? Hmm. Hold on, here it is. Oh, wow, this is so cool. All right, let me see what I did here. Evaluation methods, such a rule, okay. True, ooh. Evaluation method contains 180. Hmm. So I don't know what the evaluation, what that means, I don't know what that is. 10 milliliters is all, all for 250 grams. Wow, that's nothing. That's good. Okay. Let's move on to the next item. All right, so that's gonna be module three? No, it's to the next item uh, that where you were before. Okay. So you finish the quiz and then what? what's next? I don't know, I'm gonna click okay. Okay. Oh, less than one cents. But I'm in lesson two. So I have to go to lesson. So now, like my question, how do I get back to lesson two? Hmm, that's interesting. Okay. And Module two cents. Hold on. Let me go here. Good. Try and figure this out. Okay, so here I'm here. And now I did lesson one cents. So now I'm going to do lesson two colors. Yay, we like colors. All right, color. Let me look at this whole thing though and see what this is all about. So color video, the quiz. All right, so I'm gonna come back here. I'm gonna do colors. So oh, this is six minutes. Okay guys, welcome back. Oh. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and talk about some coloring options for you. Um, the main one that I use is called Mica. Um, I got this from Brambleberry, very popular soap supplier. She is 
amazing. She does lots of videos, demonstrations. You can get lots of recipe ideas and soap ideas from her. Um, look it up. So this whoa, is whoa, whoa, whoa. So let me. Uh, purple. So what I'm thinking now is I I didn't I could I didn't catch what that woman. So I'm gonna go back. I want to get that name. Brambleberry. There's lots of videos, demonstrations. Um, the main one that I use is called Mica. Um, I got this from Brambleberry, very popular soap supplier. She is amazing. She does lots of videos, demonstrations. You can get lots of recipe ideas and soap ideas from her. Um, look it up. So this is called Shimmer Purple, and this is a mica. There's another one. It's a Luster Black, and these are the two that we're going to use for our soap today. This is just an example of another way that it comes in. Um, it's a pouch. This is also a mica. Okay, we're going to stop and, there. Uh, American Red. And, then okay. this and go ahead and just any thoughts, initial thoughts? Uh, yeah, um, I want to know what Brambleberry is uh, and maybe a URL or something. But I, I think, because I couldn't understand her, then I thought I would go to Soap Supply, just Google Soap Supply and maybe uh, get informa more information that way. <laughs> okay, great. Anything else? Um, not really. Looks pretty straightforward to me here. It's getting okay. kind of crowded there on our desk. <laughs> okay, what next then? Uh, you want me to do the quiz? Yeah, go on down if you want to. Oh, God, I like. Can I watch it some more? Uh, no. Let's yeah. go ahead and stop with the video and and continue on. I'm glad you wanted to watch more. Okay, so I'm going to do the quiz. Begin to start lesson two quiz. Okay, begin. What are the two mentioned types of colorants used for soap making? Two mentioned types of colorants. Well, I don't know. Uh, okay, and then just speak out loud as you just- Okay, I'm not real sure about this. I'm just gonna say black and mica. Okay. Okay, I'm going to stop you here. Okay. And I'm going to ask you to go back to the lesson. Go back to the lesson. Okay, yeah. Good. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to ask you to actually go up one more level to back to module two. Let's just go back to module, right. module okay. two. Good. Okay, scroll down to lesson one. I'm gonna ask you about one more thing. Okay. On lesson one. Oh, okay. Okay, there's one more thing I, I'd like you to take a look at. Okay. So scroll down. I'd like you to take a look at this blog. Okay. And think out loud as you explore it. Okay, let me think. Scent selection blog. Using the blended essential oil guide, you will select two scents to create the mood or effect of your choice for your final sort project. Create a blog post. So scent selections. List the essential oils of your choice. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I want to see this, but I'm not really interested in creating a blog, but I'm going to look at this first. Oh, wow, this is great. Okay, so this aromatherapy is based on principle. natural fragrances from certain plants or flowers can affect our moods. In fact, practitioner aromatherapy based their entire belief system on ideology that essential oils have medicinal benefits, including antidepressant, antibacterial properties, and plenty in between. Ooh, where's the antidepressant? I'm really interested in that. <laughs> No, where's the antidepressant? I guess sadness and grief would be. Uh, Yang Yang, Clary Sage, energizing. Great. 
sadness and grief. Lavender, sandalwood. Ooh, I love sandalwood. Lang yang, frankincense. Ooh, but ooh, the patchouli is aphrodisiac. Oh, sandalwood is an aphrodisiac too. So I can be sad, but <laughs> woohoo. <laughs> we like that. Ooh, and it also gets rid of anxiety and fear. So, all right, so which one's the best one? Ooh, patchouli is agitation. So let me see. So I want to get one that takes care of everything. So uh, let's see. Chamomile, 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 chamomile. Looks like chamomile does a lot of things. Okay. But I love patchouli. So one, patchouli will help with agitation. It's an aphrodisiac. Like okay. that. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, go back up. Okay. So, okay. So I'm going to ask you to go back into the log lesson. Okay. Oh, shoot. Just bear with me. Okay. Okay. So continue with the blog uh, debriefing. The blog debriefing. Okay. Yeah. Think aloud while you're examining the blog a little bit more. Oh, well, um, I don't know how to get to the blog. I just can get to the essential oils. Hold on, let's see. How does this work? Okay, so I'm gonna close this window. And let me think here. Okay, set selection blog. So maybe this is the blog. Oh, yay. Okay. Using assignment information. So let me think through this here. Just bear with me just a second here. Oh, okay. Two cents to create the mood or effect of your choice for your final soap project. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. Create a blog post soap and scents. Okay. So comments. Add comments. So do I, so do I write submission here? Two cents to create the motor effect. Okay, so write submission. Okay, so we're gonna do sandalwood and patchouli. Okay, good. Okay, so say that you've completed what you wanted to say in here. Patchouli, uh-huh. Now what? Um, now what? All right, so mm -hmm. then I'm, uh, so, I'm going to text submission, write submission, write submission. Then I should, should be, should be. Oh, I'm going to save this draft because I might want to change it later. Okay. Right. Okay. So here I've got my submission text. Uh, I'm going to continue. Selection blog. Okay. Finish save his draft. Uh, so change my mind. Okay, great. All right. Okay. So I'm good with this. Uh -huh. So now I'm ready to go on to the next one. Do you know how to get to your draft if you want to update it? Uh, do I know how to get to my draft? Mm -hmm. I would say save his draft. Let me get here. Um, Hmm. You finish, make sure you click submit. Optionally, click save draft, save changes, click cancel. Hmm. Let me try this. Let's see if I can. Yeah, so I just, just save as draft. Mm -hmm. Then I. I thought since I already saved it and I went back into it, it would appear, which it did. So. Okay. Good. Okay. <sighs> what if you wanted to modify it? Uh, if I wanted to modify the draft, mm -hmm. I would open it up like I'm doing here. And then I would probably click on my submission text. See if I could modify it that way. Maybe not. Maybe I'll click over here. 
come on, up and down below. There's no edit feature here. It's the grading rubric though, I never looked at that. Maybe I should look at that. Since to list my blog post. Oh, okay. This list before. Okay, so I'm gonna exit out of this. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna click continue. Maybe that's my edit. It doesn't do anything. Oh yeah, it does. I'm just gonna be patient. Nope, nope, that just takes me back. So I'm gonna go back to save as draft. Review submission, assignment instructions. Okay. Close that out. Great attempt. I don't know. Okay. Okay, good. Let's go back to module two. Okay. Okay, is there anything else that you want to talk about on this page or explore on this page? Um, I want to be sure to download that essential oil list. Okay. What kinds of uh, oils you would use for different, at different times, like anger, or whatever, wherever that is. Let me see. Right. Got it here. Energizing, calming, cedar wood. Okay. Uh, Anything else on the class site that? On the class site. No, I, I'm I'm pretty much explored. I'm okay, okay with all this. Yeah. Great. I'm ready okay. to move on, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Okay. So, uh, last thoughts about the class that you would like to share, perhaps? Well, it definitely piqued my interest, and now I want to know a little bit more. I'd like to go through Module 3, Create the Soap, and uh, maybe try it. Great. Perfect. Yeah, it's, it kind of got me interested in that because, again, I have this one special fragrance that I've used for years, but it's only in a bath oil and a perfume, a cologne, whatever. Uh -huh. And I'd love to have that. Uh, currently, I pour it in with baby oil and put that on after I shower. Mm -hmm. But it would be really nice to have a soap, but I know they don't make it in that. Okay, great. So that's right. kind of stimulated my interest to, to look into that a little bit more. Fantastic. Okay, yeah. Teresa, I thank you so much for your time. Sure, it's great. It's been really informative and will really contribute to the adjustment and modification of this course. So thank you. Okay, well, thank you so much for having me. I appreciate the opportunity. Yeah.